All right, guys, here's a little update on the chicken coop. I haven't made a whole lot of videos of me doing everything else, but as you can see right now, I've got some uh, silicone over all the screws and stuff. I need to paint it. I got my little chicken door done. I got my a little lock on there and a latch. There's what it looks like when it's open. We have some chickens in there. Right now I have 13 chickens and for my trim around my door and on the corners of the chicken coop, I just used some one by threes. Here's the door for my nesting box. Just used some two by fours and I put the LP smart siding on it. I got the, I got some fencing in front of the nesting boxes right now to keep the chicks out of it. But I need to put some straw in there then they can get in them but they won't be laying eggs yet so i got a one of the regular shed t handles on my nesting box so i can latch it down so the wind don't blow it up or nothing can lift it up but also i put one of these little latches on the side of the chicken coop to hold the lid up but i end up adding a little handle up here for my t handle so that way when i raise my door up you can lock it into the handle and that holds it. So there's my window with a trim around it, just one by threes. There's still a few odds and ends I need to do. I need to put some trim around the corners of the nesting boxes. And here's my big door so I can get in and out. I got just three hinges on my door, kind of like a barn door style hinge and some more one by three trim around my door. Still got to do a little bit more trim work in my door and another one of those just regular shed T handles. There's what my door looks like. Just use a two before in the middle right there. And I ripped two before in half. Just use two by twos basically for the frame of my door. Here's what the inside looks like so far. We got some bedding in here. There's all of my framework. Here's what it looks like where my door's at. Nothing real fancy. I leveled my chicken coop up and just put cinder blocks on all four corners. I put a latch on the little door so I can keep it open the daytime and I'm I got these shed anchors off of Amazon you screw them down in the ground and I bought these little bolts it's got like the little loop or the o-ring or whatever on the end of them and they came with some cable I'm just gonna run the cable up from there up to that little bolt that I put in the leg to hold it down so the wind doesn't blow it over or something but this is just a little update of what we got going on so far and the metal roof looks pretty good I think later on I'm gonna add some soffit or something around those boards or not soffit but some kind of covering on there all right folks here's these anchors that screw into the ground that I'm using underneath my chicken coop order these off of Amazon all you do is just put them down into the ground get them started and then you just spin them keep spinning them I just use like a I got this extension it's like a half inch extension I just stick it in the loop in the top and just keep twisting it down into the ground and that's what I'm using to hold my chick coop down so it doesn't blow away in a big windstorm or something or just roll over Alrighty folks, here's my little tie down anchor. Just gonna put it into the ground, get started. Once when I can't do it by hand anymore, just use this half inch drive that I got or extension. Just stick it in a loop and start spinning it. As you guys can see here, this is the roll of 
cable that I got with those shed anchors and I'm just going to cut a piece probably a uh, three three and a half foot piece and I'm going to just run it through the loop on the shed anchors and then run it up and through the loop on those bolts that I tightened down to the legs on the chicken coop and this cable the shed anchors the kit it came with the anchors the cable and it came with some cable clamps too and all I'm doing is just running it back into itself and I just put two of those clamps on each one of these cables on all four corners of this chicken coop so I think this will be good enough to hold it down I mean through any kind of wind or anything that I get so hopefully it works out good um, this is what I'm going to try so hopefully it does good for me guys here's a few more updates on the chicken coop it's been a uh, about a few weeks later now as you can tell the chickens are a lot bigger now than they are in the previous video but this is my chicken run it's i didn't record any of it really because i didn't have time but there wasn't a whole lot to building it anyway all i did was use some two befores down on the bottom i think i used 12 footers on both sides and then on the ends I used eight footers so it's a 12 by 8 chicken run and then I just put cattle panel bit them over and nailed them to the two before then I put chicken wire over top of the cattle panel and here's my little door I made just made it out of two befores nailed it to the cattle panel put three hinges on my door and a handle and your little deadbolt style lock and one of these little latches whatever those are called my ramp i just used two two fours on the bottom of those two batons just made it out of scrap two batons i had laying around uh, i still have a bunch of other things i need to do but it's usable for now we'll take a look on the inside of the chicken pen Here's what it looks like inside there's our heat lamp it's pretty warm in here right now chicken feeder originally started with this small chicken feeder here but then i got this bigger one because they're starting to use a lot of feed now they would empty that in about a day Daddy. day and a half Dad. still gotta add a little latch up there that way a raccoon or something don't try to climb up the side of my coop and knock that handle or grab a hold of it somehow and open it. Could happen, I guess, but maybe not. But I got four tie downs under there on each corner, as you've seen in the previous video, me installing them. And I put chicken wire around the bottom of my coop. That way they could run underneath of it. Still need to paint it few other things and I still need to add some chicken wire right there at the top of the door thanks for watching this video if you guys like it make sure you like and subscribe helps me out thanks